Hey, what's going on guys? It's me, Yardana's Paradox Productions. Uh, Merry Christmas to you all. Um, and yeah, well, welcome back to my new video. Um, in this video, I'm gonna show you uh, what you should be bringing when you're gonna go to, well, Lone Star Lake. <clears throat> so this is the starter lake. It doesn't have very good fishes. Well, like, I don't know. I don't really remember, but this is a good fish this is a good fish and this is a good fish well this one i don't really know if it's really a good fish but it's kind of <clears throat> well not not very bad i think this one also gives quite a bit of xp but we're gonna be focusing on this and this well but mostly on this so uh let's go to the shop and let's go to uh wait, spinning rod yeah and well, it doesn't matter which level will you if you will be. Uh, if you're like level three and above, maybe like four, maybe five. Um, I'd recommend you. Well, if you're a starter, get this rod. And as for the reels, oh, I forgot. Just spin. And uh, let's take this one. So they aren't expensive. They're pretty cheap. Uh, now for the lines, uh, we're gonna go just lines and let's see here like level three hmm. uh, Yeah, let's get like uh, maybe let's check uh, fluoro All right, fluoro only has for these coins and this was level five. Okay, so yeah, <clears throat> let's get this All right, it was put in my home storage. Uh, so I'm gonna have to put away some stuff and find this yeah there it is um we're gonna put this as much as we can and now for the bait we're gonna be using this casting spoon you can use a variety uh let's go to lures <coughs> sorry um you can use a variety i like to use this because it seems to work the best but you can try this one out try this one out uh we're there's also like different lures. Let me go check. Oh. Sorry, my internet is a bit slow today. Um, I meant to go bass jig. Uh, so yeah, if you aren't afraid of spending a coin or two, well, you can get some of these. Um, just of the purpose of this video, I'm gonna get this. So, well, see if it really does work. Uh, all right, so it's gonna be this bass jig now for the leader. Um, I don't really know if there are any leaders Oh well, I mean you can get one. I guess it isn't like entirely needed It doesn't really matter if you don't take it or it doesn't even fit. So yeah, you can't get a leader uh, As for now because I think you can only put like fluoro, titanium, and carp leaders, and the other ones go on like bottom rods or feeder rods. So yeah, um, this is mainly all you'll be needing. Uh, now, <coughs> just a few more things, uh, like here. Um, all right, wait, no, no, uh, come on, let me press on it. All right, I'm just gonna go here. Um, so if you're like level four and above, uh, I'd recommend you get the biggest keep net you can. Uh, you can maybe even get this one if you aren't afraid of spending a bit of money. But yeah, well, I have a very big keep net, so I don't need to buy a different one. And now, uh, yes, it doesn't matter. Let's travel. Uh, <clears throat> now, also make sure you have bought the unlimited uh, license for this. I don't think it's needed, but well, just in case you get uh, the other fish, uh, let me show you uh, this white uh, crappy. Uh, I don't know how you say it. Crappy? Yeah, I guess that's how you say it. Um, so in, in case you catch like a trophy white crappy, um, well, if you want to keep it, you'll have to have the unlimited. And it only costs seven. Um, let me actually go licenses yeah and like seven it's it's very cheap um yeah so let's go let's wait for it to load up now yeah 
Oh, I forgot to go on a private server. Sorry. So we don't get bombarded by other people catching things. All right. Here we are. Um, I'm gonna hide these. Um, here we are. Come, uh, come on down to this little bridge. Uh, and you set your speed to maybe like two. And right there, you can toss. I'm gonna up tension by one. And uh, now let's just spin. Ah, there we go, we got a fish on. Now, uh, sometimes they might fight, sometimes they don't. Um, oh, we got a crappy. So, yeah. Well, it gives 30 in XP. Uh, as for starters, that's, well, quite a bit. But as for me, it's basically nothing. Um, now, they're not gonna wait too much, so you shouldn't have too many problems. As for keeping, you can maybe keep, like, 12 maybe for 15 fishes before you'll have to skip to the next day, but it's okay since it's Lone Star Oh, I had a fish on there But it didn't take the bite uh, Since it's Lone Star Lake it cost absolutely nothing to skip the, to the next day uh, And yeah, that's very very good now. I wouldn't recommend fishing at night uh, because well usually uh, bass prefer like uh, daytime like these peak times more instead of like night time I mean you can try out but uh, like I said you probably won't catch much or maybe even you won't catch anything at all yeah so really just continue dude oh that's a bass I think yep because bass uh, tends to fight a lot more than the white crappy so here we go now, yeah, look at that. That's 416 uh, grams and it gives me 71 uh, bucks. So yeah, that's quite nice. Um, let's toss again. Now I'll show you after like maybe two more tosses, like a different spot uh, where you can also catch the bass. <coughs> it's also like here, it's actually right here. Here, you, you would just have to go on like the other side like to there so yeah <clears throat> for now let's just spin um, I'm gonna also change the bait to the bass jig uh, and you'll see oh I got a fish on uh, which one uh, gives me well better like I don't know bait rate bait, bait rate I don't know how to say it but basically on which one oh oh yeah you can also catch uh, grass picklers and other stuff like that uh, if you want you can keep them if you want you can also release them uh, but what we are main what we are main uh, mainly aiming for is bass uh, because bass gives the most money I think if you catch a trophy uh, white crappy you can get like 120 bucks and like 60 XP so for a beginner that's very very good because I remember when I was a beginner I almost leveled up the whole level like half of the level maybe uh, once I caught a trophy crappy so yeah that's pretty nice all right I don't know if I'm gonna catch anything uh, on this turn maybe I won't maybe I will No, I don't think I'll be catching anything, so I'm gonna reel back in. All right, um, now, well, I'm gonna change my bait to this bass jig. All right, 
it's optimal and let's toss two more times there and then I'm going to switch to the other spot I mentioned. Now, I think with the bass jig, you're only going to catch bass. I don't know about the white crappie. I didn't really look into it. I think you can maybe catch it. I'm unsure. Also, <clears throat> I recommend go to settings and you see like this little board here that shows the line, the rod and the reel. I recommend set it from simple to pro because then it's very, very good because then you can see uh, what uh, what is doing the most damage. So, well, not damage, like the most unbalancement. I don't know how to say it really. Um, for example, the line, or maybe the rod, or maybe the reel, uh, it can really depend. All right, one more uh, throw and then I'm gonna switch to the other spot. You can also toss like front. Uh, you might also catch some some bass uh, like that as well. Yeah, these bass jigs. I'm unsure if you can really catch too many basses with this. I mean, you can. <coughs> uh, probably my next tutorial is gonna be on mud water because mud water also has bass, and you can catch trophy bass, which can give like two hundred fifty dollars which is quite a bit for a beginner. Uh, of course, they fight a lot more since, you know, like the start equipment, like starter equipment, yeah, equipment. It's kind of weak, uh, so you might have to fight a while. Uh, but, you know, you're gonna get a pretty decent bass. All right, so I didn't catch anything this throw. So let's go here. Now we do the exact same, just throwing to there, there. <coughs> right boom let's let it sink and now let's spin so yeah these are the uh, most effective places uh, or the places I used uh, when I was a beginner uh, for basses and they were quite effective uh, but yeah I don't think you can really catch too much stuff on this bass jig uh, maybe you can I'm gonna just check out uh, maybe after two, two more throws, if I don't catch anything, well then, uh, don't buy this. I wouldn't recommend it. I just bought it for the purpose of testing in this video. Let me actually go on ahead and check. Bass. Um, no. Wait. Well, bass jig, it does say that, you know, it's a preferred lure. But I can't catch anything. Maybe I'm doing it like too low. Maybe like I have to keep the lure like in the middle. Nope, we got a bass. So you can catch bass with this, uh, but well, as you saw there, it took a bit longer than the other ones. Ooh, this is a fighting bass. It might be like close to a kilo. So if, well, maybe close to a kilo, I'm unsure. But yeah, it could be a good bass. So like I said about the imbalancements, uh, the rod is doing the most imbalancement. Um, it takes the least damage while uh, the reel and the line uh, take the most. Alright, I'm going to tension up once more. Yeah, like... <clears throat> When it's like beginner stuff, uh, like when you're fishing for bass as a beginner, it's really annoying. You can fight with a bass up to like three minutes. Believe me, I had those times. I even had to like break the line sometimes. But um, you'll usually catch it. It's very rare for it to happen. Unless you're like really unlucky, then yeah, it could happen. But don't worry. Usually 
you always catch it. Come on. There we go. Alright, All right, let's see. Ooh, 800. Yeah, like I said, it gives a lot. Uh, so yeah, with the Bajig, apparently you can catch maybe bigger basses. Uh, but at a slower rate. So, well, like I said, just check out, try out different lures. Uh, okay, I'm gonna throw like in the middle to see if it really does work there as well. If not, uh, well then, I don't know, don't toss there really. <coughs> yeah, so like I said, you can catch pretty big basses uh, and get quite a bit of money as a starter. Uh, if you're keeping that only, it holds like 7 kilos. Like I said, just skip to the next day. It costs absolutely nothing. It's a very good place to grind for a beginner. Uh, because you can catch bass, which can give you a lot of money. You can catch white crappy trophy, which can give you loads of XP and a bit of money. So yeah, this is a very good place uh, when you're starting. I wouldn't recommend going to mud water until you're actually ready. So like I said, I'm gonna make the next the next video on mud water. Um, it's also gonna be bass. And uh, yeah, after you watch that. And you know what to take. I mean, you can also look at other for other tutorials, uh, but like as as far as I know, oh, it's a very small grass pickler. There aren't too many tutorials on uh, mud water, but I'll be I'll be sure to make one when I'll have free time. Um, yeah. So let's catch like one more fish, and I think I'm gonna end the video here. I don't want it to go for very long. Um, I just quickly wanted to show you what to take, what to get, um, <coughs> where to fish, and yeah, mm, simply just that. Like I don't want to take forever, just me showing how to fish or like where to fish exactly, like <coughs> again and again. You'll you'll already know the spot. Um, it's here and here and well maybe in the middle as well but in the middle you can maybe catch more like grass picklers but I mean you can also catch basses so yeah oh there we go we got a fish on oh it's a bass because it's fight it's, it's fighting so yeah you can also catch basses there I guess not like there so yeah that just proves my point that all three locations here do work and it's no worries um, like I said, you might have some tough times, like, <clears throat> when you fight with a fish for a long time. You might even, like I said, lose a lure or something. But yeah, really, that's just it. Just a simple bass farm and white crappy. So yeah, this is like XP and money farm. XP like less and money like more. Let's see what bass it is. Well, yeah, like 112 bucks. That's quite a bit. So yeah guys, um, thank you so much for watching, um, I hope you learned something new in this video, I hope this tutorial did help, uh, if you're a beginner uh, or just didn't have any luck uh, when fishing at uh, Lone Star for like bass, um, so yeah, really in Lone Star there aren't many other fishes to catch that give a lot of money, uh, maybe some do give like a bit more XP. But yeah, this is like money XP farm. So yeah, so, uh, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.